Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. Hope you're doing well today. I'm so glad that we've got some time together, got some things I want to share with you that I believe are very important from the Word of God and what God is doing in the land right now. Hey, before I do, I very seldom do this, but I felt like I needed to do it today. I want to take a moment to invite you to come and be in service with us here at Christ Church of the Heartland this Sunday morning at 10 a.m. We're located at 720 Bertling Street here in Cape Girardeau. If you're anywhere close, I think you'll be blessed. Even if you have to make a drive, I would love for you to come. We're going to have some very special guests in the house with us ministering this Sunday morning. One of the very own sons of the house, Mark McCord, his precious wife, Jennifer, and of course their children will be with us. This is going to be an awesome, awesome Sunday morning. I believe God is going to use Brother Mark. God's going to speak to him a word. He's communicated just a little bit with me of what God has been speaking to him. And I tell you what, I'm excited and I want you to come and be a part of what God is doing with us here at Christ Church this Sunday morning again at 10 a.m. Also, if you are a pastor and you are, uh, are any of the FIFO ministry guests, a prophet, apostle, evangelist, a teacher, or a church minister, I'm going to say it like that. If you're in the ministry, I want to invite you to come to our regional gathering of the leaders this coming March 30th. We're four weeks away. March the 30th, it's a Tuesday night, 7 o'clock. I want to say it again. March the 30th, Tuesday night, 7 p.m. We've been meeting over the last couple of months, and it has been incredible what God is doing. We've got four states being represented, and I'm hearing all the time of some more that's going to start joining us and coming and being a part. We're believing to see a move of God across our region. And I believe that's what I see. That's what I'm believing for, to see a move of God that is impacting every church, every ministry that will bring transformation to our communities and to our cities. So I want to enjoy, invite you again to our regional gathering of leaders Tuesday night, March the 30th at 7 p.m. right here at Christ Church. Now, this is going to be a significant time together because it's going to be right in the midst of Passover. I believe something supernatural is going to happen that night. So I want you to come and I want you to be with us. Well, let me get into the word with you. I believe, listen, friend, I believe the Lord is doing something great right now. I know you've heard the prophets speaking. I know you've heard different ones praying. I've been a part of prayer meetings for years. Uh, people crying out for revival and for awakening. But may I declare to you that God is moving right now. I believe the awakening has begun. I believe revival is in the atmosphere and in the land. And it is begun. But notice how I said it's just begun. And I believe it's time for you and I to start believing and agreeing with what God is saying, not what circumstances are saying, not what people around us are saying, but what God is saying. You say, Pastor, I, I don't see it. Maybe you ought to pay a little bit more attention. Sometimes we're not seeing the magnitude of what we want to see, but it doesn't override the fact that God is doing something great right now with us right where we are. I know he is here at Christ Church of the Heartland. People are being healed. Just this past Sunday morning, I had a young lady come to me at the end of service. The doctors told her a few weeks ago, it looked like she had cancer. She said it, the doctors were giving her a very bad report. She came back rejoicing at the end of service Sunday morning to tell me, Pastor, I went to the doctor, they've taken the test, and I can tell you I'm cancer free. One of the things the doctor saw is not there any longer, and God has worked, I believe, a great miracle in her life. This past Sunday morning again, another individual came to me at the end of the service. We're walking out the door, said, Pastor, I want to tell you this morning, the Lord filled me with the Holy Spirit. 
Wow, that is incredible. Also, people are giving us testimonies of financial miracles, surprises that are coming. A lady told us Sunday morning before service, said, Pastor, let me tell you what happened to me. She only works eight hours a week on her job. She's just part time. But she said, little did she know, to her surprise, she said they gave her a $500 bonus unexpectedly. That is incredible because just a few weeks ago in a service, a word of the Lord was that God was going to bring some financial surprises to someone. We've had it happen twice in the last few weeks. I'm telling you, God is moving. You know, in the book of Matthew chapter 2, We'll usually only hear this story at Christmas time, but I want to bring this story to you real quick. It says, now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men came from, they came from the east. They came to Jerusalem saying, where is he who is born king of the Jews? Uh, for we have seen his star in the east, and we have come to worship him. And when Herod the king heard this, he was troubled, and all of Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and the scribes of the people together, he inquired, where is he? Where is the Christ? Where is he to be born? So they said to him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, but you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the rulers of Judah, for out of you shall come a ruler. I want to give you a progression, listen, I believe of a move of God. These wise men came looking for Jesus. Now, what motivated them to move? First of all, they had a word. God had spoke years before. He had spoke to them years before. They heard the word. They grabbed hold of the word that out of Bethlehem in the land of Judah, a ruler would come forth who would shepherd the people of Israel. They first heard the word. I'm telling you, I'm giving you a sound. I believe it's being sounded all over the land. That revival is in the land. Awakening is in the land. But pastor, I don't see anything. Listen, friend, listen, pay attention. They didn't see a whole lot. They first heard what God said. Then they began to anticipate the Lord. That's the second step. They began to anticipate the Lord moving. The Bible said when they came, they first saw a sign. A star was in the heaven. These wise men, some would call them magi. They were ast astrologers, no doubt. They studied the stars. They studied the se seasons of the, of the sky, noting, uh, noting what would happen in the stars. But they saw an unusual star appeared that gave them a sign that a king was born. I want to tell you, friend, there may, we may not be in the full maturity of the awakening. We may not be in the full maturity of revival, but it doesn't mean that it's not happening because there are pockets of moves of God happening here and happening there. It's happening all over the nation, which is telling me God is moving. And friend, I can't help believe, listen to me, God doesn't want it just in that place or that place or that place, but he wants it everywhere. I believe the whole earth, as Isaiah said, is going to be filled with the, with the knowledge of the glory of God. So they had a word. They saw a sign. They saw things beginning to move. And here's the third thing they did. They began to pursue it. I don't know about you, but I'm running after God right now with everything I have in me. I refuse to believe that God is just doing something in one state and not another. I refuse to believe that God is going to do it for one person and not another. And I'm moving towards God and I'm declaring, God, you are moving. I'm looking. I'm expecting it. Friend, I believe right now this is the time we've got to stir ourselves. We've got to make our way 
towards what God is doing. This is the time to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. This is a time that we move towards God like we have never moved before. But pastor, I don't see, listen friend, quit looking for all the great things that you want to see and start seeing what God is doing right in front of us and right before us. When they came to Jerusalem, they said, where is he that is born the king of the Jews? Where is he? We've come to worship him. I want to tell you what they found. They didn't find a man. They found a baby. That's the point I want, to, I want to get to you with this. Listen, it was an infant, but they treated it like it was the king. They treated him. I'm not a it. They treated him. He's the king of the Jews. He's the king of Israel. He has come to rule and shepherd us. It didn't look like much at first. But they came and they gave honor. They brought gifts and they worshiped. And the Bible said that when they had worshiped him, that they left and they went back another way because Herod was pressing in on them. But I got to believe not only did they go back another way, they went back transformed because they have found him who was born the king of the Jews. Friend, God's moving. It's time. Let's pursue God in this hour like we have never pursued him before to see the greatest move of God in our churches and in our lives and in our communities that we have ever, ever seen. I'm believing with you. I'm declaring it. Come on. We're going to see the glory of the Lord.